In an earlier video, we saw how to back up our entire image, but you may not want to go through that process all the time. Sometimes you may just want to back up your Node-RED installation. And we're going to do that with a program called FileZilla. It's an FTP client, um, free download. I'll put a link under the video. And basically you just put in your host name or IP address of the Raspberry Pi. And then your username is Pi and whatever your password is, mine's still Raspberry. And it's going to be on port 22 because that's SFTP, secure FTP. And then we'll hit quick connect and we'll say okay to that. And then here on the right side, we have a listing of the Raspberry Pi's file structure. And what we're going to do is back up everything in this .node red folder. So if you see here, we're in the directory home Pi because that's the user we used. We logged in as the Pi user. That's why we're in the Pi directory. And basically if we just copy everything inside this node red folder, except the node modules. Now the node modules, remember we talked about NPM or node package manager. That's where all of the packages are installed. And as you can see, there's quite a few of them in there. And what happens is whenever node red starts or any node application gets installed, whenever it gets installed, it'll run through something called package.json. And in here, it tells the installation, it tells Node.js what packages your application needs to run. And then it'll download and install those and store them in the folder called node modules. That's why we do not need to copy this. Um, you can if you want to, but it'll take a lot of extra space. Um, we could go through these real quick just to have a, a mention of what they do. Settings.js, we're already familiar with. That's where all the settings for our Node-RED installation are stored. Package.json, like I told you before, that's where all of your Node packages are, are um, mentioned. That's where you list all of your Node packages. Um, package lock.json is, is basically the same thing. Your flows.json, this is where all of your node red flows are stored. So if you open that and have a look at it, you'll see a bunch of JavaScript uh, objects that will describe your flows. And then we've got the library. This is your user library, and that's where all of your um, extra node package manager, all of your extra node modules will be stored. So like the user dashboard does not come with node red by default. That was installed as an extra package with control pi, and that'll be stored in here in the user library. So to back up in a nutshell, to back up your node red configuration, just copy everything in the dot node red folder, except node modules. And here on the left side is my local file system on my computer. And I'll need to refresh that, go back to desktop. And here I've got a folder called Node Red Backup. That's this guy right here. And I'll just open that up and then I could drag these guys right over here and you'll see all those files will get copied over. And now I've got them on my local laptop, on my machine here, and I could store those wherever I like and keep them as a backup. And that's how you make a backup of your Node-RED configuration.